Were you just on? I was just on, yeah. Oh. On, <laughs> on my little spinner. Yeah, perfect. Oh, there's another one, off to me. Look at them, Woo. Yep. Ooh, on. <laughs> nice, yeah. dude. Nice take right on the surface. Come on in the box if you want to, Cap. Nice, bro. <laughs> yes. Oops. Came by a weed patch, hooked one fish, and then we hooked three more on the uh, ballyhoos. So we got two fish on right now. Nice. There you go. Anytime you're dolphin fishing, you're basically sight fishing, you're looking for things. It's funny, you said I saw two flying fish get up. Right. And it, they didn't scare, the boat wasn't the boat. The boat, boat wasn't, scared. yeah, exactly. It wasn't the boat, so you put us on the fish, Cap. Well, at least they can do something for you. You know, it, honestly, <laughs> it's great when people are actually paying attention. They look because it, it make, or, make or break the day right there, you know? Right. Really, really good. Oh, well, that's what it's all about there. Catching one dolphin on the troll there. We pulled him off. And then Cap put one out on a ballyhoo ride. Yep. Kept it in the water and used my old little South African spinner. Look at that guy. That's Woo great. Really good. This is fishing the Palm Beaches, huh? Look at that. That's it, man. All right. Remember, Johnny's not in the boat until he's in the boat. All right. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> James just got his beat. It's 2 nothing. Not yet. All right. Let's see what we can do. Here he is. Nice and easy. There she is, hold that, oh, nice fish, man. Pretty Yeah. Beautiful, man. He was hooked on the Palm Beaches. Well, this is one of the fastest growing fish in the ocean. These tiny guys, probably only about five, six, seven months old. Uh, it's amazing that they can actually start breeding at about four to five months, and they only live to about five years old. Mahi mahi, which is the Hawaiian word for very strong, and when you do catch a big one, well, they can give you quite a run around. The other name for it is Dorado, and Dorado is obviously Spanish for gold. When they come out of the water, they're beautiful green with these lovely turquoise spots on them. And then after they've been out of the water for a bit, they turn that nice golden color, hence the name Dorado. So dolphin, Dorado, mahi mahi, call them what you want. They're excellent table fare. Can I call them tacos? Oh yeah. Mahi tacos, <laughs> baby, good job, Jim. All right. <laughs> James? Hey, good to see you again. <laughs> Last time we were together, we caught a huge swordfish. But today we're after something different. John Bassett, who you're going to see, and they were out yesterday, six to 750 feet, said there was some scattered weed, maybe some blackfin tuna, maybe some mahi mahi. So, what we're going to do is really, to be honest with you, we all have a job. You're going to be looking, you're, you know, I know you're good at spotting birds, so we're going to look for birds. Weed lines or weed patches and see if we can't locate some fish. And nothing better to catch a couple of mahi, put them in the boat for a little late breakfast, Cap. That's what I'm saying, fish Excellent. tacos, dude, let's do it. One of the things that's crazy about this year is the amount of weed, the seaweed worldwide. From the Dominican Republic to Venezuela to St. Thomas to here, it's almost at times unfishable. It's great for the ecosystem and here off the Palm Beaches, I mean, there's so much seaweed, we have to find birds. We gotta look for big patches and we gotta find birds. And we're gonna run and gun. At times we'll have all, all of our rods in the water, baits in the water. And then sometimes we'll just run from patch to patch to see what we can find. But we're going to head east. Everybody's going to have a job. We're going to be looking in different directions. Sometimes looking into the sun in the morning is difficult. So you don't forget, any anytime you guys are going fishing, be sure to look behind you. It's a lot easier to find something floating behind you when there's no sun or reflection. So we're going to head offshore and hopefully we'll be tight. <laughs> 